If you crack first, Dave, it won't make you any less of a man. I'm nowhere near cracking. Neither am I, my friend. Oh, Dave. My friend. Oh, Matthew, what is it now? For God's sake, no one's smoking, okay? But, but nothing! You know what we need around here is an anti-whining ordinance. So just sip your sniveling little lip and all your skinny ass out of Welcome back to Think It Critical. This is Wes. We've got news regarding Luke Cage City of Fire, which I thought was going to be released in about a month. Apparently, that is not the case. It has been abruptly canceled, much to the chagrin of Hoche Anderson, the uh, the writer. I believe this was going to be his debut at Marvel Comics and on the big stage. And as you can imagine, that would be very disappointing. I want to say thank or I think happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I wasn't actually planning on putting out three videos today, but there's a couple things I needed to get to. And this is where I had to put this if I wanted to keep my schedule intact. So you're getting an extra video on Thanksgiving. I hope this sees you all doing very well. There are some interesting things to consider when going on uh, about this cancellation. Number one, this was supposed to be the first uh, event to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Luke Cage, you know, the Power Man series, which was you know, kind of a monumental moment in uh, in mainstream comic books. The first uh, African-American superhero to lead his own comic book titles is the, uh, as the flagship character, as the name on the title. Now, I think that there might be some, some people that, that take issue with that, but it, at the very minimum, Luke Cage Power Man is the very first uh, black superhero that led a book at like Marvel and DC. So this was a, a milestone that needs to be celebrated. It needs to be remembered. So this was supposed to be the very first thing to kick that off. Now it's canceled. Also, this is supposed to be tying into Devil's Rape, the big Daredevil event. And this could this could say some things about that. Could not. And interesting enough, I'll go through what Hoche Anderson himself released. I'll also talk about a tweet from David F. Walker with his two cents, and then I'll kind of give my opinions on it. So this is what Hoche Anderson released on Instagram. Man, man plans, God laughs. No easy way to say this. I got the word Luke Cage got canceled this morning, one month away from its premiere. The scripts are all written. The first issue is done and is a thing of absolute beauty. Issues two and three are deep into production. Covers have been drawn. People have gotten excited and with good reason as far as I'm concerned. I remain as proud of this as any work I've ever done. Maybe someday it will be seen, but, at, but as of today, this comic is dead in the water. If you want answers, I am not the man to ask. My heart is broken. I'm taking a social media break to lick my wounds. Somewhere, God is having a chuckle. Enjoy it. So obviously, Hoche Anderson was blindsided by this, did not see this cancellation coming. Thinks that he's uh, done very high-quality work. And as you could imagine... I would feel the same way if my comic book got uh, canceled this far into production, this close to the release date. And Luke Cage City of Fire was actually announced in July. And uh, this was supposed to actually start coming out, I believe, in October initially, but it ended up being pushed back to December 29th and was, was solicited, uh, had multiple issues solicited at this point. And like I said, it was going to be the 50th anniversary of Luke Cage Power Band. Seems like it's... It could be uh, important. Now, Luke Cage Power Man did not release, like the first issue didn't come out in the first you know, month of the year that it was released. It actually came out later in the year. So there, I guess there is a possibility they could be pushing this back, but I highly doubt that for a couple of reasons, which I'm going to get to here in a second. Let's hear from David F. Walker. This is what he put on Twitter when he saw the announcement that Luke Cage uh, City of Fire was being canceled. There are only two reasons a title is canceled this late in the game. Number one, pre-orders were too low to warrant the cost of printing. Number two, someone high up in the Marvel Disney food chain saw something in the series that didn't sit well with them and decided to kill it. So we will took, take a look at both of those possibilities. And that was obviously from David F. Walker. Somewhat within the know and in the comic book industry, I thought it was important to uh, kind of take the information that they presented out there and maybe um, talk about it here a little bit. So let's look at the first case, very low sales. That would be very, very bad, or it could be a bad omen, obviously for the, for the ultimate success of 
Devil's Raid regarding the, the interest in Devil's Reign as far as what the retailers are seeing and how they're ordering it. That would be very unfortunate. This is kind of the big first, first big event, Chip Zdarsky, one of my favorite writers in all of comic books, one of the most consistent uh, superhero writers that you're going to find at, super, uh, at Marvel or DC. You know, this is his first big opportunity to, to put the flag, you know, on him and say, hey, I'm leading this big event and let's have a big success. And to have little interest would would not be very good. You know, it doesn't sound good for Devil's Raid. I'm not sure that's exactly what's going on here. It also could, you know, I guess spell like or, or signal a lack of interest in the 50th anniversary of Luke Page Coward. Luke Cage Power Band, which would be awful. I, you know, it's such an important moment in comic books. It's something that we should celebrate. It's something that we should remember. And I do think that if they were putting out a, you know, this series, I think retailers would support it. You know what I mean? I think they would, um, most retailers that, that I met, you know, these guys are comic book fans at their heart. They love Luke Cage Power Band. They understand the significance of the character and that moment in time. And I think a lot of the retailers would, would support this book and know how to sell it to customers. So I, I, I do think there's going to be a lot of, of interest in this 50th anniversary. So me personally, I'm more eyeballing number two. It Also, on the number one thing, when you look at the covers, the Daredevil on the cover that's interacting with Luke Cage Power Man is Elektra. It's a Devil's Reign tie-in which makes it weird. Like you couldn't push this off six months to have it coincide with like the original release of Power Man because the art's going to be all wrong. I guess you would have to redraw the, the Daredevil in there and probably change some things so it didn't directly tie into that event. So if the sales were low and they're like, well, you know, it wouldn't be worth printing it, why wouldn't they just release it digitally in co uh, you know, to coincide with Devil's Raid, you could still get the tie-ins if you're interested in it. They already paid for the work. At least, uh, you know, issue number one was fully completed. So it, it makes me think that number one perhaps played a part in it. But I think ultimately it's the second option that David uh, F. Walker put forward. That a Disney Marvel exec actually started learning the details of the book and they got gun shy about just releasing it. We see that with um with the with the was it new warriors we we got the trailer they got the feedback we ain't heard nothing since it almost like uh they they used a pandemic as a reason to just shelve that book and then you know is it ever going to be released i hope it is i want to see uh you know uh snowflake in, in uh, safe space you, you can't uh make these kind of stories up now i think this one probably has them apprehensive for another reason if we go into the the solicitation for the first issue itself you could see why perhaps this isn't a good time to release this book with everything that's going on this is the solicitation when a black man is murdered by a police officer in new york city luke cage is called to action but what does a good man do when protecting the streets puts him at odds with his own people a cadre of crooked cops named the regulators are out to terrorize ordinary citizens and with Daredevil determined to bring them down no matter the cost, and Mayor Fisk equally determined to use them to tighten his grip on the city, it's up to Cage to keep the city from completely going up in flames. Joined by an exciting lineup of artists, uh, celebrated creator Hoche Anderson makes his Marvel debut with an ambitious, hard-hitting story unlike any you've seen in the 616. Change is coming, and it starts here. So if you read the solicitation, it seems like something that DC or Marvel would, would lean into uh, just as far as ha having some commentary, some social commentary and, um, you know, in, in presenting some modern day events in, uh, you know, some, some upheaval that's been going on around America for quite some time. We just had the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, verdict and, you know, we've, we've had some, uh, some, some high profile, uh, cases of police officers uh, killing black citizens. 
So just the like the general idea behind it makes me think that Marvel would have no problem with that. It kind of feels similar with Marvel and DC are doing. But I kind of predicted that this book was gonna be a cringe fest. That uh, Hoche Anderson, I've read a little bit of what they've had to say here and there as far as interviews. Um, would take this like too far, <laughs> and it, I imagine he probably did. And that's that. There's a good chance that's why ultimately they decided to pull the plug. I'll be surprised, but not completely shocked if this thing actually ends up being pushed back six months and then released. Like I said, it's supposed to tie into the event. Are they going to go and pay the artists to redo all the art and redo, redo all the covers that they've already paid for for a book that's likely wasn't ever destined to make a ton of money anyway? You know, um, I think if you, you had Luke Cage and you did a 50th anniversary celebration with a, a big name creator or somebody associated with the character it would have a, a better chance but this is literally Hoche Anderson's first time ever writing a Marvel comic and I don't think a lot of people are, are familiar with their work so I have a feeling and I had a sneaking sup- suspicion about this from the very get go when this thing was announced I said it in that video and I've definitely said it in my solicitations videos that this thing uh, there's a good chance it's going to be a cringe fest it's going to go too far I have a feeling, and I have not confirmed this, that uh, you know somebody from Disney, Marvel, higher up, finally finally got some of the details and decided perhaps this isn't the story we want associated with our brand at this very time. Perhaps this is going too far. Now, this is kind of just taking what uh, Hoche Anderson has said, some of the interviews that I've read, the general description of the comic book, and then laying out the two options that uh, David F. Walker gave us to why a book would be canceled this deep into it and trying to come up with the you know best or the most not best case but the most likely scenario on why this comic book is actually being uh, being shelved. Do I think this thing ever gets released? Probably not. You know, it, it is specifically tied to an event that will already have been completed. You know, uh, by the early part of next year. Do they want to go and pay and change the artwork and stuff like that? Um, yeah, I, I think Marvel's it was probably just went a little bit too far for them, and and Disney to want to put their brand associated with the story like this, and perhaps even to to associate with a character like Luke Cage, who could conceivably and probably should draw some money in the 50th anniversary of the character. We've seen DC make a lot of money with their uh, you know kind of some of their uh, C list heroes that are coming up on these big anniversaries this one's even more important than some of those not just the not because of the status of the character but because but the what the character represented in the in the milestone that was achieved when power man first first launched and you know the, that kind of glass ceiling being broke through so uh, perhaps they said you know what we want to we want to um, celebrate luke cage there's a better way to do it you know, and, and maybe not tarnish the brain of, of Luke Cage, not tarnish the brain of Marvel and, and Disney while we're doing it. So those are my thoughts. But if you were looking forward to Luke Cage, City of Fire, that book is not coming out. If I were Hoche Anderson, I would be very upset. Obviously, we are very close to what this comic book was supposed to be released. I'm a little bit surprised they let it get this far into production if they were ultimately going to pull the plug. If if you if you said Wes, you, you got to bet on this one. My bet is you never. This comic book probably never sees the light of day. Certainly not within the next few years. You know, maybe five or ten years from now they they release it or something as a digital only. But if they were going to do digital only in the in the in the near future, they would just do it in conjunction with the event that it was supposed to release with anyway. So that's the news. I'll have some other things to talk about real soon. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And uh, there you go. I wanted to review this one just because I was like, this thing is going to be bad. Perhaps I was right. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.